Hey guys, I got this JQ400 mini skids here I picked up at auction recently. I'm going to adjust the relief valve pressures because when I'm operating it, it seems like it's pretty weak. So if we look at it here, we've got a tandem pump. We've got two pumps. You follow the pressure lines up. Each one goes to <clears throat> each valve body. Each valve body, this one controls your right track. This one controls your left track. This one also controls the, the lift. This one controls the bucket curl. So I have a pressure gauge adapter set up to the bucket curl cylinder right now. It's an M18. It's going to a gauge. I'm gonna fire up the machine, max out this cylinder on the extend, because it's on this side of the cylinder, and see where we're at. Okay, so these are your pressure relief valves. Uh, there's a little acorn nut protecting that that you have to remove first. And then you'd back off the jam nut, take your Allen key, this is a four millimeter, stick it in there, slowly turn it clockwise, a little bit at a time while testing the pressure to set it to where you want. And then once you get it to where you want, we'll use an Allen key to hold it in place, put your wrench back on the nut, tighten it back up without letting the, the inner part turn. I found it easier to get to the pressure relief valve from the back side because you're not working over top of the muffler. So if we're looking from the back, we got a right joystick that we were working on. Here's the valve body. I backed off this jam nut a couple turns. So now I'm gonna fire it up. Look at the pressure again, and then slowly turn the silver screw threaded part clockwise in to increase the pressure. All right, so I got the pressure set for the right hand drive and the bucket curl. It was sitting at 2300 PSI, now it's at 2850. So now I'm gonna do the other side. I got it plumbed into one of the lift cylinders, but I got plumbed into this side on the retract, so I don't have to have the bucket way up in the air when I'm working on it. Okay, so now I have both sides set to about 2,800 PSI. What I use for this is I got one of these hydraulic pressure test sets from Amazon for about 200 Canadian. Um, you don't need to have this. I've never used a full set like this before. I've always just got fittings, had a gauge, made, got a little adapter hoses made and stuff like that, but I couldn't find my hoses and this just seemed easier. It was worth the investment into it. These T's, super handy, because you can still run a function while testing. I've always, before, taken a line off and then just put a gauge on the end of the line. Then your function doesn't work, but you can test your pressure. But with these T's, everything still worked. One more thing with these Chinese uh, mini skid sears, the H pattern, your uh, <clears throat> lift up and down is backwards compared to like a bobcat. So what I'm gonna do while I have these lines off is take both off on each side and flip them. So then it will be like how a bobcat is. 